Greetings from St. John's in Portland, Oregon. I'm Ross and I compose this multimedia postcard to share with you one of my favorite places, Pier Park. I think you may want to check it out once you've heard about some of the cool things that happen here. But I can't share my enthusiasm for this place without first honoring the people who were here long before Lewis and Clark's so-called voyage of discovery. When I'm in the park listening to birds calling out across its 85 acres, there's something important I keep in mind. Portland occupies traditional village sites of the Multnomah, Kathlamet, Clackamas, Chinook, Tualatin, Kalapuya, Malala, and many other tribes and bands. It wouldn't be right for me to tell my story without first honoring the people whose traditional lands I'm walking on. And even though my mom and my grandmother were both born here in Portland, and I've lived here for more than 20 years, I'm still the new kid on the block. Now that I've shared some history of this place and my relationship to it, I want to give you a tour of my favorite park. From the southern edge on Lombard Street at the Transit Center, the first thing you come to after the ball field number one is the skate park. The park was built largely with volunteer work and donations, and it's internationally known, so you can check it out for yourself on the internet before coming. But there's a 30-foot pipe here and a lot of big drops, so be sure to bring your protective gear the first time you come. From the skate park, Traveling north into Pier Park further, you pass ball field number two, and then you come to the parking circle at the corner of James and Bruce, where you'll find the tee pad for a hole number one of the disc golf course and a sanitary public restroom. Instead of me boring you with all the details about how to play disc golf, get out there and give it a try. I think you might enjoy it. And the best thing about playing it at Pier Park, it's free. This is Chris on his one wheel and he is in the park doing a little demonstration. Some of the other sports taking place in the park, other cycle riding and dog walking, and I've chosen a few of the other activities to highlight, and I'll give you a quick tour of those. Pickleball. We've now arrived at the Pier Park splash pad. It's a uh, artistic installation with uh, natural botanical motifs. Eight plaques of poetry surround the water feature. This is the Pier Park basketball court. Oops! Here at the uh, southeast corner of Pier Park, Pier Pool. We're about 200 yards from Pier Pool, so if you walk down this nice pathway from there, you come to this picnic area. Get 120 of your best friends and come have a picnic. We are at the Pier Park Spinny Cups, just west of the picnic area. And then behind me are the climbing apparatus, the slide, the swings, the splash pad, and the basketball court. But you caught me playing on the Spinny Cups. So let's see. Oh yeah, these work. And if you had too much to eat for lunch, well, hold on to your hat. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll stop that. Whoa. There are so many cool things happening at Pier Park. I could go on and on and on, but I won't. I'll just encourage you to jump on your bike or a bus or drive over to St. John's and check it out for yourself.